My name is Tyler Head, and um, I started a small boutique real estate company um, called Turning Point Realty Group about three years ago. Um, I left, I was with a much larger company um, for about the first seven years of my real estate career. And then uh, I left there to kind of do my own thing. Um, I've closed uh, approximately two, between 200 and 250 short sales in about the last four and a half to five years. We always carry between probably 35 and 40 um, because we're usually taking, on average, we take about eight to 12 a month, but we also cycle another six to 12 a month out. Uh, there was a period of time in August, I think, where we took 10 listings in, 11, in, in the span of 11 days. I think one of the days we took three. You guys bring a very nice, consistent channel of where I'm always getting those face-to-faces every month. I've always got those new channel or those new listings that are coming in. Um, so I think it's bringing some really nice consistency um, to my listing portfolio. Whereas the referral portion tends to come in waves. You know, I'll go two, three weeks with nothing, and then I'll get you know three or four or five a week in one week. And so I, I feel like it's you know. I feel like if I have enough channels that there's always that consistent that I'm just constantly taking listings and I'm constantly keeping that pipe full, which is important to me. I was a tiny bit skeptical, but I, I, I knew the if the idea was what it seemed, that it would work, that I could make it work. Um, and so I did, you know, mailers came in, we sent all the mailers out, we sent exactly, we didn't try to change things, we didn't try to, to rewrite any letters or we used what you guys provided uh, for us and um, and started mailing them out and phone calls started coming in. Um, the phone call is simple as this. They'll call me and say, hey, I got a mailer from you. And my first thing I say back is, I say, great. Um, it, you must have got my mailer that's HR 3648. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Great. Well, I'd love to talk to you about the program. When can I set up a time to meet you? That's it. I say nothing else. I don't get into details. I don't talk about what it's all about. Nothing. And, and then if they start asking probing questions like, um, hey, so what's this thing all about? Well, it's kind of extensive. There's a lot of different avenues to it. Um, I've got a seven page packet. I just, I'd like to just come and give it to you. I, you know, it'll do a lot of the, it'll do a lot of the explaining for you. What I'd really like to do is just set up an appointment. I'm not going to sell you anything. All I want to do is give you this packet, and if you got any questions, I'll answer them. That's it. Great. Okay. And then I set up the appointment. You know, for very first thing I do is I sit down, uh, you know, introduce them. Hey, show me around. Talk to me about your family, whatever. I sit down to them, and I just ask them one simple step or one simple question. I look at them and I say, "Tell me your story. Why are we sitting here today?" And usually, that is an open-ended enough question that usually you don't have to ask another question for about another. 15 to 30 minutes, they'll tell you. One of the things that's, um, that I've always prided myself in is the client always comes first. Um, you know, if I have to take significant real estate commission cuts to make a deal happen, if I have to, you know, whatever it is that I need to do for the best interest of the client, I do it. Um, and that's, that's probably somewhat significant. I know a lot of real estate brokers are like, you know, it's all about the commission. You know, my commission is my commission and I'm worth more than, you know, whatever these short sales take longer. So I deserve this. Um, and so they let that, they let the, the they let the, n the necessity for a paycheck almost cloud their vision of what's really the important and working for the client and making sure that, you know, that, that it's client first. And, you know, I, I can tell you this firsthand that, you know, on some HR appointments, yeah, in the back of your mind, you're like, I need the listing. I'd like the listing. I want to make this as one of my listings. I want to, I want to beef up my portfolio, but you got to keep in mind that it's not all about the listing. And sometimes you're going to sit face to face with somebody where short sale is not the best route. It's not. And you got to have the, the, um, I guess integrity is the word I'm looking for, to look them in the face and say, guys, I don't think short sale is necessarily the first route. Now, it may be a route that we may need to take in the future, but I don't think I'm going to encourage you or push you to say short sale is going to be the first route for you guys. I think we need to look at this. I think you've got enough... Um, 
I think I think you've got enough strength in your financial portfolio that I think loan modification may be the route that we need to look at first. You know, I'll give you a little bit of guidance and I'll help you. And it's all a free service, even if I help you with something else or give you advice on something else, I'm not gonna try to charge you. I'm not gonna be like, well, if we're not doing the short sale, if I'm gonna help you with loan modification, I'm gonna ding you for a grand. You know, I don't ever do that. Um, but I think that's a big thing is, is you, you know, you gotta be at a point in your business where you, you gotta put the, you got to put the financial stuff aside and realize that I'm dealing with a real human being. I'm dealing with roof over their head. I'm dealing with their financial life. It's not about me and my paycheck. Well, so far, it's been a it's been a brief relationship, but I think it's been a great relationship. Um, and uh, I think that uh, hopefully, you know, I've given you guys as much as you've given me, um, and that it's you know it's definitely added some additional stability to my business and my listing portfolio. Um, and I think it's been great. I mean, I've been with you guys now for about four months, I believe, um, somewhere in that neighborhood. And you know, I, as long as as long as leads keep coming in and we keep turning them and keep taking listings and stuff, um, you know, I I would never stop. I like it a lot. I'm very very impressed because I feel like that you guys share a lot of business beliefs and core values that I do. Um, that that I. I very much value them, and so um, you know, kind of like that breakdown when you get that f that face-to-face -face conversation with that HR client that's going to lose their house. It's you, 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 you sit down face to face with them. It kind of breaks down that barrier, that trust. Like, okay, cool, I can breathe a sigh of relief. These are real people. That are, that you know, it's kind of that same feeling. It's kind of nice, and that's why I made it a point to you know fly out here and 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 get a chance to meet with you guys. Um, so one, you guys know me, and now I know you. And um, there's more to it than just a you know a, a name to a phone conversation or whatever else. Um, so that's that's important to me, and I'm I'm glad I did it. Yeah.